Hey, what's up, everyone? Raging Golden Negro here, having way too much fun, as always. And I'm just going to come out and say it. Some people need to suffer. Before you start freaking out, let me explain what I mean by this. I mean that some people are incapable of living in peace with no problems. Because as soon as they have no problems in their life, they manufacture them. And if they were only manufacturing problems for themselves, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I'd be perfectly fine. Like, dude, I don't care what you do. Just leave me out of it. And that's where the problem comes in. They don't leave me out of it. They manufacture problems for me. How many times have you guys heard that saying, oh, we can worry about this thing once all these more important problems are solved? And let's say in reference to uh, violent video games, for example. It may seem like a reasonable argument at first, but I would disagree. If you see violent video games as a problem that needs to be solved, you would fall under this list of people who I would vote needs to suffer all the time to keep you too busy to manufacture problems for me. I'm sorry, but that's just how it goes. Because all of these things that you say, oh, we can fix this once all these more important issues are solved. No, the correct thing to say is, Violent video games aren't a problem. Fuck off. We're not going to do it. And because most people aren't like that, we can never have world peace. This right here, people like this, who will uh, manufacture problems, who will violate other people's rights because they personally don't like what they are doing, people could just want to mind their own business in their own bedrooms with themselves And these busybodies are like, oh, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. That's degenerate. They are the reason we can never have world peace. This is why SJWs exist, by the way. You ever notice how SJWs are entirely a first world problem? Because people in the third world are too busy with real problems to get offended on the internet. If these SJWs had real problems in their lives, they wouldn't be saying that everything is racist, everything is sexist, everything is homophobic, and they wouldn't be pointing it all out. These people need real problems in their lives, or else they will manufacture problems for you, for everyone around them. This is a problem that's, funny enough, a symptom of a comfortable, safe first world. We have never been safer than we are right now. There has never been a more privileged leisure class in all of history than Western women. And yet, who is crying the hardest about being oppressed? They've never had it easier in history. And yet, listening to them cry, it's almost as if uh, like they, they actually are being oppressed and tortured. And this is the worst time in history to be a whammons. No. The problem is you're too fucking comfortable. You have no real problems in your life. So you, you manufacture them. You make them up. Like, oh man, uh, it, I'm just sitting here at home all day, letting the machinery do all the work that used to take all day. The laundry gets done on its own. Food can get made on its own, or I can just hit a few buttons and it gets delivered to the door. I have a maid service for cleaning the house. Oh, I'm just sitting here, just checking in on the kid every once in a while, watching TV. I'm being oppressed. Damn patriarchy keeping me down. And then they manufacture problems for people who just want to mind their own business. This is the uh, the tragedy in this. There are a few people who are capable of living in peace, who just wants to be left the fuck alone, who just wants to leave other people alone. But unfortunately, as long as people who aren't like that exist, we can never have peace. Because as long as even one person exists that insists on prying into everyone else's business and manufacturing problems for them, there will always be violence. Because eventually that shit gets old. Eventually you gotta put your foot down. And of course, once you do, you're the villain. That's how it always works out. That's how it is. 
We're talking, especially with professional victims. Oh my God. Professional victims are their own category here. And yes, I count feminists in that category. The whole thing with professional victims is they must at all times be victimized by something or else they lose their job. Hence the professional thing. If you're one of those professional grievance mongers that gets all of their money by people giving you money because you got oppressed or victimized or something, as soon as you stop being oppressed and victimized, people have no reason to give you money anymore. Oh, hey, we achieved our goal. Everyone has equality. Everyone is uh, is equal now. Okay, so uh, nobody's oppressed anymore. We're not going to be giving money to any of these professional victim organizations or individuals. And that's why they keep moving the goalpost. That's why they keep pushing it. Women are already treated way better than men in our society right now. And even that's not enough. They keep wanting to take more. They keep moving that goalpost. They're always being... A, dude, they moved it to air conditioning. Well, these sex... The patriarchy is keeping us down via air conditioning. Damn those sexist men. If these professional victims aren't being victimized, they have to get a real job. And that's what they just can't tolerate. That's why you got people like Anita Sarkeesian, for example. Every time one controversy she's involved in blows over, she creates a new controversy because that's what she does for a living. That's what she does to get money. That's how she pays her bills. She has to always be victimized by something or she doesn't get money anymore. So as soon as she's no longer being victimized, she manufactures a fucking crisis, quote unquote, and becomes victimized again. We go way past equality and well into privilege, and even then it's never enough. Now, I will fault the white knights for this because... If they just put their foot down and said no, the, the problem would kind of fix itself. But uh, whatever, you know, th this is where we are. This is my argument for why some people need to always suffer. We may actually achieve world peace if we could find a way to separate the people who are capable of live and let live and just minding their own business and living peacefully and not bothering anyone else. If we could separate them from the people that have to always manufacture fucking problems. They can't sleep at night unless they're crusading against something. If we could separate those two groups of people and make sure that the people that need to always have problems are given the problems they need to keep them distracted, to keep them from screwing with the people who just want to be left alone. Once we figure out how to do that, we may actually have world peace. But something tells me it's never going to happen because these professional victims are going to view that as oppression. And that's all I got to say, guys. Thanks for listening. Oh, man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.